be very, very quiet. I have found one of the rarest and most hostile creatures found in these parts. I have found the common bully. Yes. Here, it marks its territory and keeps very hostile. We find it calls one of its pack to its aid. Bro! Bro! Yo, what quad? Bro! As it does this, the other one is called and summoned. We find they greet each other with a friendly and firm handshake. I shall now try and get closer to these remarkable creatures. Hi, I'm God. And as I look down, I see David Attenborough getting bullied and beaten to a pulp. I see David Attenborough is a good man and bullying should stop. Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman. In place of David Attenborough here, who is being savagely beaten, I will be taking you through three examples of bullying. So, let's begin. Ben here is a good boy. He's your normal, average student. But, he's not so bright. But today, for reasons unknown, Ben is about to experience three types of bullying. This will probably destroy what little self-confidence he has. Ben cannot see or hear me, so if you don't mind, I'm going to go to the toilet. Tom, did you send me these emails? Shut up, Ben. Oh, shut up, Ben. Ben here has been cyberbullied. He feels bad about himself because what if someone else has said? Cyberbullies are scaredy cats behind the keys of a message board. They are not strong and nothing they say matters. Cyberbullying can happen on text messages, social media sites, and through emails. Anyone can be a cyberbully, but it is not right. They say sticks and stones may break my bones, and words may never hurt me. Now that's the biggest pile of bull I've ever heard in my life. Morgan out. This here is an example of physical bullying. Ben here is being beaten to a pulp and is suffering from not only mental but physical scars. This always happens. So we'll carry on with the rest of the lesson in two minutes. Uh, homework, homework from last night. Can you get out in front of you, please? Let's see if you have done it. Um, ben. Yes, sir. Homework. Um, I I don't have it. Uh, Why not? Um, I don't have my homework because, because I'm lazy. No, I, I, because I'm better than everybody else here. Because I am so arrogant that I think, hey, I can get through life and just do what I want to do. Hi. Ben here is being bullied. He's no, being verbally abused and it's hurting his feelings. Let's not, let's not. 
verbal bullying is when someone uses words against you to make you feel inadequate or lower your self-esteem. It can happen to anyone and from anyone. It does not take a strong man to bully another. What they say can be harmful and hurt your feelings and is sometimes very unnecessary. So think about your actions before you say something. Come on Ben, you're the, you know, you're the star of the show, you always want to get your voice heard amongst everybody else interrupting you. So come on, give me a decent excuse Ben, why haven't you done your homework? I don't know what he's talking about. You forgot, why? What's better than my homework? Well, we're out. Well, here we are. Ben has suffered from bullying and is now crying in this toilet. <laughs> bullying hurts people and the words affect them. <laughs> Shut up, Morgan Freeman! I can hear you! Stop narrating my life! There, there, Ben. There, there. It's alright. Oh. Here we find a student crying in this toilet due to bully. Shut up! Stop talking about me! Wait. Wait, we all... We look, um... Quite, uh, quite similar. Well, time we go. Who is this other person? Hi, I've been Morgan Freeman. You might also know me as God. Remember, in honor of Anti-Bullying Week, that if you are bullied or know anyone who is, you can always turn to the welfare team. If you're a bully yourself, remember, stop, think about your actions and how they affect other people, like poor Ben. Thank you for watching.